Hi, Shelley from Spin Cushions here. Today I'm going to show you how to do a magic circle, but not only how to do a magic circle, what to do with the end so that it doesn't come undone, because there is no knot, so you must weave in your end well, or it will come undone. Okay, so we start as if we're doing a slip knot. So wrap it around your fingers, cross it over. If you were doing a slip knot, you would just pull that through all the way up, and that would be a slip knot. We're going to pull it through to the front, and then go back and chain one, and then we have your magic circle. So it gets bigger and smaller, now, I'm just going to make some stitches. Let's start with a false treble or false DC. And I'll just do a few stitches. I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay, so you can see I've, have, I've kept the magic circle quite loose. I've done my all of the stitches I need. So now to close it off, and put my fingers at the base of that last stitch I made and pull the tail and then pull it really tight and it will be nice and close. And then join up to your first stitch, however you do that, whatever the pattern says. Okay, so that's all well and good, continue on. You might find as you work it comes undone a little bit, but don't worry about it. When you finish your square, flip it over to the back, and grab your a yarn needle and your end from the middle really out of focus. Impossible for me to do through the camera. <laughs> okay. All right, so you pull it tight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the legs. This is quite a tight one because there's lots and lots of stitches in that first round in this square. So I'm just going to keep going through the back all the way around. I'm going to keep going past where I started going around. Oops. Okay, now this is the important bit when you're weaving in a magic circle. You must change directions several times. So I'm going to go over that last stitch where I just came out and go back the other way. do this as much as you like but the thing is you must change directions a few times. Your yarn, depend the yarn, type of yarn you use will depend how slippery it is and how easy it will come undone. So I'm just going to go back the other way again now. So the slipperier your yarn, if you're using a very smooth yarn it will come undone very easily. If you're using a big grippy yarn like a nice wool or something it won't come out undone so easily. Okay so that we've gone round and round but you can also go back through up into other rounds just working on the back. Weave in this way through the backs of stitches. And again, don't forget to change direction. So I've changed directions at least three or four times. So just imagine that end having to come undone. It would have to go back this way, back that way, down there, around there, around there, around there. It's not going to happen. You can also go back down and go around a few more times if you want, but I think that will be sufficient. <coughs> Snip it off close and done. It's not going to come undone. Trust me. So there you go. Magic circles.